Welcome to TechRazors with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to restore database from zipped backup in MySQL server by using a MySQL dumper. Let's go ahead and take a look. Here we have a database called TechBrothers New, and that's what we are going to use for example or a demo. First of all, we would like to take the backup in zipped format. So MySQL dump, we will provide the username. In my case, I'm going to use a backup user and uh, you can change the user, whatever you have and provide the password, then provide the database name. And here uh, you have pipe sign and gzip. That's uh, the option you will be providing uh, when you want to take the backup as a zip. Then you will provide the directory in which you would like to take the backup. In my case, it's going to be root MySQL backup, provide the file name. Uh, and then dot sql dot gz okay so that's the format uh, we will uh, uh, use to take the backup of our that's the command actually we will use to take the backup of our uh, database called tech versus new i'm going to go to the uh, unix box and uh, that's where i have installed my mysql server i'm going to run this uh, command and uh, check the directory and you can see right there uh, the backup is created if you will do the duach that will give you size and you can see that when i didn't zip the file the size of the backup was 5.2 megabyte and here when i do the zip the size is 1.9 so there is a big difference especially when you are taking the backups and moving from across the network and need to restore on other servers it helps in reducing a lot of time because it it can complete on the copying and pasting and complete very quickly from one one server to another server if the size is small and then you can restore okay so now we are all good here i'm going to go ahead and drop this database so this uh, database has two table employee and manager so we will go ahead and drop drop schema and then uh, we are going to run uh, this statement um, so we'll say gun zip and uh, then uh, less than mysql backup and we will provide the path uh, for our file here is the name of the file there, there is a whole path for it uh, and then we'll say uh, pipe mysql dash user um, dash password and uh, the name of the database we would like to restore to okay so i think we have to create an empty database first but i'm going to give a try here so let's see what error we get um, okay it is saying uh, you don't have this database uh, available so fine we are going to go ahead and say create schema or database uh, and then create this uh, empty database first let's create that and once uh, that's created we are going to run the statement again okay go back run the statement and it is a restoring so that's great if we refresh all so we can see that the database is there and now we need to see the table so employee table is done let's see the table is done as well or not it's still working on it so give it a second it should be done okay that's completed that's great now what we can do we can go to the database so refresh, refresh all, all and, and uh, then go to the tables and we have two tables employee and manager in manager i had only one record so i can show you if that record is there okay that uh, completed successfully and uh, now we need to check the employee table right click on employee table select the data and we can see the data right there as well all right so it was pretty quick uh, and easy to do the full backup of a database uh, in uh, um, zip format so only thing we have to use uh, with the mysql dump pipe uh, gzip and uh, have to provide a dot, g, dot gz with the file name and uh, when you need to restore uh, as you will say gun zip direct path of that file uh, and then uh, you say pipe sign mysql username password and uh, the name of the database so just remember that you need to have the database empty database ready before you run this statement uh, thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you guys uh, in next video